Hello, I'm Al Whitesides, a lifelong resident of Asheville, North Carolina. And the period I want to talk about is from 1960 to 1965. It's about a group of black students from Stevens Lee High School who decided to make some changes in Asheville. At that time, it was bold, it was not expected, and a lot of parents and people in the community were afraid of uh, what we were doing. Uh, they thought we had bit off more than we could chew. But as it ended, as it ended up, and a lot of us didn't realize it until years later, we changed Asheville forever. Uh, and what happened was four students from Stevens Lee High School decided in 1960 that they were tired of going to the balcony uh, at the Plaza Theater then or not being able to go into the Imperial Theater because we were black and we couldn't even eat at the lunch counter at the Woolworth uh, Five and Dime store here. So what they did was met with two gentlemen who were Quakers from High Point. One was black, the other was white. Taught the students nonviolent means of what to do, what not to do. And from that, they recruited other students and a score was born. Uh, we met in the jewelry store on Market Street here in Asheville and that's where we had our weekly meetings from students from most of us were in the 10th, 11th, or 12th grade at the time. And the four who started it were 12th graders. Uh, the part that I worked in though, or that I participated in, was when we boycotted uh, Winn-Dixie and a and stores here uh, just to get to be hired as bag boys at the time, which is surprising to a lot. But we were successful. And what happened was that I was one of the first ones hired. So after school, going to work at A&P, I would, could attend some of the meetings, but I was not able to attend all because, you know, I was working, and that happened to several of us. And this continued for five years. I graduated from Stevens Lee in 1962. But students continued this movement for five years. And at the end of that time, lunch counters, movie theaters, restaurants, all were integrated peacefully here in Asheville. At the time, in other parts of North Carolina and across the South, it was not as peaceful as it was here. We didn't stop to think about how successful we were until years later when some of us were together uh, at a Stevens Lee class reunion. We started talking about it uh, and what had happened as a result of a school, Asheville Student Committee for Racial Equality. And that was it. I mean, it was successful. It was a group of students. And at the end of the day, we were did not want to have the same to go through what our parents and grandparents had gone through. And we didn't want to see future generations, particularly our sons and daughters, have to go to the back door to be served, to the balcony, to movie theater, or not be able to serve at a, uh, sit down at a lunch counter. And for me, it was interesting, uh, well, not not surprisingly so, when I told my daughters about this years later, they looked at me like, Dad, what are you talking about? Uh, and then as they understood what we had done, uh, it's interesting how we pass the story down to my grandsons now. Uh, it's something that, you know, some of us people see us as heroes. We don't see it that way, though. We see it as just doing what needed to be done at the time to make some changes.